So here we are, three big parcels from Toman, six, six electric guitars and I will not talk too much here right now, let's start, okay? So the first one, Chapman guitars. So here we got Chapman guitars, United Kingdom. Let's open it. Oh, comes in the back. In case of fire rescue my guitars, even on the Chapman guitars here, it comes in the back. That's nice. That's really nice. And there is a towel in there to clean the guitar. And some tools for the truss rod and for the bridge, I guess. Cool. But now the interesting part, of course, the guitar. Okay. So let's put the back on the side. And let's see what we got here. Okay, I guess it's better to open it from here, from this side. Hopefully you can see it better right now. And I still hate this stuff here, even on a Shetman guitar. And that looks nice. That's a nice looking guitar. Chapman Guitars, greetings. Congratulations on your new Chapman guitar. Blah, blah, blah. We will check this out in the review. Protection for the toggle switch. Push pull. So I'm sorry, I had to readjust you guys. So this is the Chapman guitar White Dove. And it's a nice looking guitar. Really snow white with the natural binding, feels nice. Big frets, little bit sharp fret ends. Uh, we got here a big imperfection imperf here in this area. I will show you this in the review. Made in Indonesia. Fretboard looks nice, smooth. The fret dress looks nice. Very shiny frets and yeah, overall, good looking guitar, I have to say. And I have to take care here of the table not to knock the guitar. Um, yeah, looks nice. The Chapman White Dove, ML2 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, ML2 Modern White Dove. Nice looking guitar, I think. And there we got the Harley Benton TE52 NT. One of the guitars people want to review me all the time. Should be a nice looking telly. I'm not the biggest telly player and lover, but yeah, many of you are. So that's why I got this guitar here right now. Plex and in case of fire rescue my guitar. Sometimes we still get cables with the guitar, not every time. Okay. Can we get this stuff here on every guitar? I like this much more. Oh, heavy guitar. Ash body. Oh yeah, heavy guitar, man. <clears throat> That's a lot, lot of wood. Fat neck, feels like a fat neck. Roswell pickups right now on this guitar. Oh, this is cool, like this. You don't have to see my face. And I can play like this. The frets feel a little bit rough. I can already say this, yes, yes, yes. They are rough. They need a polish. Otherwise, 
Guitar looks really good. Damn, it's heavy. Otherwise, everything seems to be okay. No sharp fret ends. Nut looks nice. Overall quality looks nice. Maybe, yeah. Of course, there could be something with the electronics. I don't know right now. We will see this in the review, of course. The Dario strings, yes. Nice. Oh, damn. Next guitar. That's a heavy package, so I guess we got here uh, maybe three guitars in there. Oh, damn. These things here are sharp. These metal thingies <laughs> they use. Well, let's start with another Harley Benton, okay? The Harley Benton. S620, yes, S620, uh, a guitar with the Floyd Rose, a super spread. Many people wanted me to review this guitar. I think there is no real review so far on YouTube. And that's always good to be the first one or so. <laughs> um, yeah, in case of fire rescue, my guitar sticker, of course, cable and the tram arm for the Floyd Gold and the tools for the truss rod and the bridge. So as far as I know, these guitars should come with the Harley Benton Floyd. So that's, <laughs> that's funny, I'm missing here uh, one screw and the screw is in here. That's not so good. Hopefully the screw doesn't, didn't scratch the guitar. But it seems like, it seems like we're lucky. But for some reason, the screw went off here. So let me get this on here again for now. Okay, looks nice. Transparent red, maple neck. Mm, fatter neck than I expected. I expected a super strat, super thin neck, but no. That got a D shape, thicker D shape. Again, some little sharp fret ends if I'm not wrong. Harley Benton by Floyd Rose tram. Very interested if this tram will stay in tune. Otherwise, it's a good looking guitar, I have to say. Doesn't look bad at all. Here. Yeah. Little sharp frets again here, uh, a little rough frets again, a little bit rough. Fretboard itself looks nice, yeah. I will not talk too much, let's continue. Okay, the next guitar is a Fender. Fender Standard Strat HSS PF AWT. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, Fender li limited lifetime time warranty, owner's manual, tremolo arm. Uh, yeah, okay, nice to have. And a truss rod tool. But I want to see the guitar. Okay. Nice. 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 Strat guitar. Genuine Fender Strat guitar. Yes, I know. Oh. The fretboard looks very light, bright. Are they using rosewood still? Or did they change that? Nice. Okay, that's a nice looking guitar for sure. Nice. The colors, everything is right on this here, okay? We got the cream white guitar with the cream white pickguard. The colors, everything is right, like you expect on a guitar like this. It's the right, the right, you know, the right shade of cream. Uh, everything here. The pickup looks nice. We got here a hamburger on the bridge, two single coils, and yeah. What is the fretboard wood? I didn't check it. Almost in tune. Almost in tune. Feels like a very resin guitar. Nice. The side dots here are hard to see. The fretboard itself is, is a light brown and we got a maple neck and the dots are white and you can just see half of them inside the fretboard. That's not easy to see, but otherwise it looks, the guitar looks flawless. I expected better fret ends to be honest. These are a little bit sharp and rough, but the fret leveling, the fret rest of the top is really nice, mirror-like. Maybe the action a little bit too high, but yeah, nice, nice. Really nice. So this is again a Harley Benton HWY 25 BKS. Again, a guitar many people ask me to review because you cannot find anything on YouTube. So here we are. Black guitar. Yeah, cable and the tremolo arm and the tool for the truss rod and the sticker, of course. So, Thoman quality inspection 596. Quality control. Jack did the quality control on the 24th of February, February 2017. Satin black guitar. Oh, that's very, very black, a very black guitar. Damn it, this is, this is black. Oh. Very light guitar. I don't know what wood we got on the guitars. I didn't check them. Everything is black. Again, very, very light guitar. Rose Acer fretboard, if I'm not wrong. 
Neck feels nice. Fret ends are not rough here, that's okay. Frets are not rough, not as rough than on the others. And when I, if I'm not wrong, this is the cheapest guitar of them all. Less than 100 euro, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, set in black looks nice. But everything else in the review. It's really a mess right here. Everywhere, parcels and guitars and stuff. Let's continue with the last guitar. So the next one is an Ibanez. Okay, the Ibanez AS73G in black. I had a bad relationship with Ibanez, I have to say. I hope this will be different here. Nicely packaged, I can say. There's really nothing can move in here. That's really nice. Cool. Comes with a digital photo. Ah, it seems to be, ah, dear customer, ah, this is the guitar Thoman photograph. This is the guitar you can see on their website. This is why there is a photo of the guitar here. Ah, nice. So, a black guitar. This order is really much white and black. We got two black guitars so far and two white guitars. Satin black guitar. Mm. Looks nice. Light like a feather. Really, really light. Cream pickup frames. They look a little bit wrong for me right now here. Otherwise, looks nice. Interesting knobs we got here. They make a little noise when I move them. Can you hear that? Hmm, okay. Three-way switch. Hard to bend, man. But it's not in tune, maybe. That's the reason why. Uh, yeah, looks nice. Man, this, this area here is really big. There's really a big gap between the strings and the top of the guitar here. They, we got a volute here, that's nice. And yeah, I cannot say a bad thing here right now about this guitar. Looks really nice, I have to say. Okay, and now finally let's go to the last guitar, okay? So the last guitar is the Harley Benton JH60 OW Olympic White. 
I already got a JA60 in vintage Sunburst and with Wilkinson pickups and this should be a JA60 with Rospel pickups so we can compare them. So common stuff here right now I don't have to say it I think uh, in case of fire rescue my guitar sticker cable truss rod tool some plex service card 596 and yeah matching white headstock oh why does it have to be sticky here right now okay And there it is! Yeah! Oh, let me sit down. Oh. So, the Harley Benton JA60 in Olympic wide with the Salami Pickard here again. I call it Salami Pickard because it's a photo finish printed um, Pickard. Um, Rospel pickups here. The cream color is very much like an orange, you know, got an orange tint, but it's matching. The knobs and the pickups are matching, but they don't match 100% with the color of the guitar, but it's not that bad, I have to say. It looks nice. Feels exactly like my JA60 I already got. Yeah. It's in tune? No, no, no. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Feels nice, no rough red ends. Uh, I cannot see any imperfection here right now, but yeah, this is just the an, an, this is just an unboxing. I will not talk too much about it. We will see everything in the review, and that's the unboxing. Check out the links in the description below, and yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.